Honorable Ministers, EAC Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I warmly welcome you to the Markup EAC Invest event. Thank you to the East African community and the European Union for their continued partnership. Today, our aim is to shine a light on the importance of promoting investment to MSMEs in the EAC. It is a challenging time for the investment landscape. The year 2020 has been a difficult year for global investment. Research from UNCTAD shows that global foreign direct investment fell 42% to around 860 billion in 2020. For Africa, FDI fell by a comparatively modest 18%. But the impact of decreased investor appetite in the middle of a pandemic has far reaching effects on the continent. Investment is an essential ingredient in competitiveness. Firms rely on investment for working capital, for plant and machinery, for quality certification and standards compliance, for packaging, branding and marketing, and for research and development. For Africa, which is embarking on a historic year that began with the launch of the AFCFTA, finding ways to grow the capacity of MSMEs to attract domestic and foreign investment will be key in the operationalization of this ambitious FTA. The EAC can be a leader in this regard. As one of the fastest growing regional economic blocks in the world, the EAC has illustrated that through integrating fragmented markets and reducing regulatory barriers, the resulting lower transaction costs can attract regional and international firms to invest, operate, and export from the region. Yet MSMEs find it particularly difficult to benefit from these market opportunities because of lack of market information, perception of high risk, and the existence of physical and institutional trade barriers. To help tackle some of these issues, regional intervention should address investment and trade obstacles at three levels, the policy, the institutional, and the enterprise level. And this is what these four days of discussion, interaction, and knowledge sharing will aim to do, to unpack and demystify these obstacles and barriers, and provide you with solutions and connections to build back better through investment. Today, you will hear from various speakers about the impact that the pandemic has had on trade and investment in the EAC and how the various stakeholders are addressing the challenges. Most importantly, you will hear what actors in other regions have done to promote and capture greater investment. For example, with partners like the Investment Promotion Agency of Costa Rica, CINDE, ITC experts will work with EAC investment promotion agencies to focus on how best to facilitate customer-centric services for investment attraction and promotion. Financial institutions will learn more about the growing market for sustainable financing solutions, including in the agribusiness sector. MSMEs and investors will launch negotiations on investment deals that could lead to real and transformational impact and MSMEs will be advised and trained on how to enhance their investment attractiveness through smarter packaging, branding and marketing, quality improvement, and digital readiness. This is a unique learning opportunity at a time when we're very much at a crossroads. The health and economic crisis has stunted growth and investment, but we have to anticipate a time when the new normal will be here, and MSMEs in the region must be equipped and ready to take advantage of what that will entail. This event is preparing you today for the potential of tomorrow. ITC is pleased to be your partner, and I wish you great success and knowledge sharing during the next few days. Thank you very much.